Hi everyone, it's me Cheryl. I hope you're all all right. I've got a few things to show you that I have finished off. Um, not big things, just small things. Um, and a progress item to show you. So first is first. Um, leading on from last, last time, last video. Remember I made this baby hat on this loom and I was curious about a single strand of worsted yarn and also making it on this. Well, I did about seven rolls of a single strand on here of worsted yarn and I pulled it straight out. I thought it's not going to work. It's going to be too open and lacy and totally not right for a hat. So I moved on to this and I worked every peg, which was good. And just as I was actually working around and around, I, um, I saw a video from loomahat.com and she was she said she had five tips for new loomers and I thought anybody could, you know, take from this, whether you're a new, new loomer or not, because I certainly did. And she said, if you've got two looms this size, you know, same diameter, you come up with the same size hat. And I was thinking, I have, I have these rounds on here, and I think, really, really? I hope so. Let's see. And she was right. Um, the only thing I had to do um, was increase the amount of stitches I did for the rows. Um, but there it is. That's a single strand of worsted yarn. The little pom pom. How cute. And look, I managed to make it the same height, and it definitely is the same. Same width. You can't see a difference really. So yeah, a single strand of worsted on every stitch, every peg around. Worked a treat. And I'm really happy with that. That was one uh, question I wanted answering, so awesome. Next, I'll move these out the way. No, I won't, I'll keep hold of this one. Move these out the way. I started on some squares, um, a stitchology series on knittingboard.com and you will produce 8x8 eight eight squares and I said I want to get rid of all my red hearts because I don't like the feel of the yarn. Well that was certainly true for this colour. This is herringbone stitch. That, that is the right way around, yes. I haven't blocked any of them out yet, I thought I'd do it all at the same time. Um, yeah, I think you can see the detail there. But it feels rather thick and I definitely the, the feel of the yarn is not nice at all. Not that colour. But different colour feels entirely different. Here's this colour and that feels much softer. Yeah, I said that was herringbone stitch. This is, I think it's puff stitch. I'm not even sure which is the right way. Because, you know, for this one, it could be either. And that feels much better. So, that's that one. Okay. Now, I nearly didn't do this square because I don't like the look of it. It's ugly. But I am so glad I did. So, there's this. This is chain, chain lace stitch. The reason why I'm glad I did it was because like, you're going like up, that's down, down, up, down, up. And I would never have known how to do that if I never did this square. I was so impressed. But I still don't like the look of the square, it's really ugly. <laughs> but it's such an amazing teaching tool, this one. This one's called, oh, I said already, didn't I, chain lace, yes. That's that square. I've currently got one on the loom, candy cane. You can't really see much at the moment. It really seriously needs pulling out, as in stretching, when it comes off. Because it's all compacted together. But other than that, it's working out fine. I'm about halfway through, so I can't wait really to get it off and give it a good stretch. That would be awesome. Another thing I did, 
Um, do you remember last time I showed you a scarf made with that Knit Picks yarn, which was a lovely colour and I thought I could do plant pulling on it and totally couldn't? Well, I started to make a hat, a ribbed hat. It's a crochet ribbed hat, but instead of going from the crown down or from down up to the crown, well, I did do it, I did. It was lengthways. And here it is. And unfortunately, when I, look, I looked at the pattern just now, I have no idea who wrote that pattern because they just haven't put the name on the pattern, which is such a shame. So I will find it again in my Ravelry because that's where I got it through. And hopefully I'll find out who did it and I'll be able to link it. But this is the ribbed hat. And I think I could have done about two fewer rows. Um, oh, that's where it is. Okay, also when I stitched it together, I did um, just a slip stitch crochet, but I had to turn it, I was gonna say inside out. There's no right or wrong way really, is there? Well, what I thought was originally gonna be the inside, I had to flip it around to do it. And then it would give me this here, which is so very similar to the other ribs. No one would notice that really. It's a little bit too big uh, for an adult. It, it's okay, certainly, but I, I certainly think it could have done with a little bit, a few rows, just just two, and it would have been fine. But it's, it's a great hat. I love lo love the um, I love being able to make it. So I'll definitely make more of them like that. And the other thing I made, I got some. Let me show you this. It's fluffy yarn here. I've got some skins that I've got this idea of making a blanket out of fluffy yarn. And it's DK weight, but you can't tell really because it's so fluffy. That's just leftover strand from what I have made. Um, and I will make a blanket. I just have to figure it out at the moment. It, all it will be is just like um, I was going to say knit pearl, knit pearl, but I'd have to start with garter stitch, wouldn't I? If, if I just do it garter stitch, it'll be so much easier on the needles. Yeah. I had a, just a total brain block there. But anyway, this is what I did make. And I'm going to send these to my mum. Some fluffy socks. It was so quick. On um, this loom. Yeah, it's just one of the patterns on YouTube. I can't even remember which one, but it was just so easy. So easy. Just where you do work on half the loom, short rowing, and then back out again. And, straight out i was going to do there's a lady on on youtube who manages to do a sock like this but she does gusset rolls and i thought oh that would be wonderful I, I was about to start doing that and i thought wrong yarn to do that with because i can't see where to pick up because they're just it's just too fluffy and furry and everything so no forget about that never mind so i just did it like that it was fine the the regular short rowing in and out and it was so quick um, next I want to show you my progress on my jarna shawl I don't have the link to the pattern on the jarna shawl because I don't um, I was gifted it as it is here just move these out of the way I was gifted it exactly like that it's by Veronica Job if I pronounce that correctly I don't know but um, that's what it is. I don't. I don't have a link. I'm sorry. Um, so here's the progress on this, and I've actually got the beads to show you. Let me show you the beads first. It's in a, a bath salts container, um, and I think I got about eight lots of different colour beads from Amazon. Um, I hope you can see these without. I don't want them tipping over everywhere. They've got like a, a sheen on them, and sometimes you can see different colours, like maybe a blue in there. But it's mostly, these are mostly green. They're so lovely. And the shawl, so far, looks like. I'll pull the needles out of this thing. This. It's upside down. There we go. So that's it so far. And all the beads are in the the edge here and every fourth row you put a bead on so every fourth row is a pattern repeat and the pattern says to do 60 of these 
thereabouts. So it's absolutely beautiful. And it's working up so nicely. Of course, it's taking longer now because of this extra bit here, which is understandable. But then once I get halfway and I start reducing, it'll get quicker again then, won't it? So I'll just put them back in there. If you wonder what that noise is, it's my yarn it. This time it's a cake inside there rather than the ball. And that still, still swizzles around when you pull it out of here. Uh, after removing the stopper, of course. And I also started on, but I haven't finished at all. Uh, I bought that from Tam, it's lovely isn't it? Tam's Crafty Knits. She's a really good sewer. Anyway, I start to make a crochet ribbed scarf. I wanted to start on, there's the yarn. I think I got this from Pound Stretcher because it looks so much like the James C. Brett DK that I ended up getting the James C. Brett DK just to compare it and I haven't used any of them yet apart from this one but I'm sure I got from Pound Stretcher. Anyway, um, I wanted to just a basic what I class as a waiting room project for while I was in the hospital waiting for my waiting to go down to theatre but um, <laughs> I was first. They came in and told me um, I was first. This was on the 27th of January. And I've never been first before. When I've had my three eye surgeries when I was a kid, I've never been first. I've mostly been last. So this was a surprise. And it was like, well, I'm first, okay, I'll off I go. So I barely touched this. And then when I, <laughs> when I come out of the I had an oxygen saturation monitor on my finger here. I had a cannula here and I had a, a sphygma monometer a blood pressure cuff um, on my arm so there was no chance I mean I don't crochet with my right finger stuck up in the air anyway so I was having a really bad <laughs> difficult time trying to crochet like this and then my cuff would expand and I thought oh I just gave up it's dropped nothing um, yeah so never mind I'll just finish it at some point there's no hurry it's not for anything in particular but it's a good project to pick up every now and then. Waiting room project. Yeah. So, that's that. I could have done with that, taking that to the dentist yesterday, but um, I got so engrossed. I never usually watch the TV, but they're talking about migraines and triggers and foods. And yeah, so I was fascinated in that and I had to listen to it. And I couldn't hear it very well because the TV was further away. So I went to the reception desk to ask what channel it was on so I could watch it when I got home. Uh, on catch up and it was BBC One. Luckily I could watch it on catch up. Right, so that's everything that I've showed you so far. Oh god that hat is so cute. I've so got to make more of them little baby hats. They're gorgeous. Anyway, I'll fathom out what to do about that blanket. Um, yeah, I'll definitely do it because I don't want to make another pair of socks. I thought that was nice. Yeah. Nice to make as a one-off. Um, that's it. So next time, obviously, I'll have another square or maybe two or three to show you. And hopefully another finish something or other. Who knows? So I shall see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.